Welcome back to the not so off grid Aussie family. Well, we've had quite a few dramas. Um, that's why there hasn't been any videos for quite a while. Turns out that we built our cabin just over the boundary or a little bit over the boundary. So it needs to come down and it needs to be moved. Um, very disappointing. So at the moment we've got a short term rental which is fully furnished, so that's quite handy. Um, hopefully it gives us a bit of time not to rush so much. We rushed getting the first cabin up, obviously because we were in the tent and we all wanted to get out of the tent. Uh, there was no option of going back into a tent while we take it down and move it because it's just too hot. So that's why there's been no video. So the cabin does have to come down. Uh, I think we're going to start doing that on Boxing Day. Um, yeah, it's been quite a bit of drama with the whole boundary thing, but I think we've got it sorted now. Um, we can dwell on it and dwell on it, but nothing's going to change it. So, trying to look on the bright side, I can do a few things differently that I learned along the way building the cabin. Um, for a start, we're not going to use the ply on the outside of the cabin, we're going to use fibro. I think it's going to be a lot easier to work with than the ply. A lot of the ply warped as soon as it got a bit damp. Even though we did varnish it and it's meant to protect it from the weather, it still did um, warp and bow in places. So we're going to do away with the ply. So that's where we're at at the moment. So hopefully it won't be long before we start taking it down. Like I said, hopefully Boxing Day we start. And hopefully within six weeks we should have the cabin down completely and the new one pretty well started. Um, what else has been going on? We did get, we, what Tucker? You're way too old for a dummy and it's a pink dummy. Um, so that's where we're at at the moment. Hopefully we can take our time a bit more this time and, and get things a little bit better than we did the first time. Um, so yeah, and also a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a month ago now, our dog got bitten by a snake and died, so that put a bit of a dampener on things. There, there are quite a few snakes out there. We've all seen snakes out there, um, even right up near the cabin we've seen snakes. So everyone's on edge a little bit. you just got to be careful, watch where you step. It is their territory, not ours. We've moved into te their territory. But um, we're definitely not giving up. We're moving forward, trying to keep a positive attitude. We did get quite a fair way with the cabin. We got quite a few windows in. We got our uh, two rooms sectioned off. We got the bathroom done. Uh, so we were able to shower inside instead of the shower tent outside. I did do a video um, before we found out we had to move it, but I haven't uploaded it. Um, I may still upload it just to show how far we did get. But um, that's what happened to the off-grid Aussie family. That's why we haven't been making any videos. But we will be back to making videos in the new year of the new cabin. And hopefully we can get the cabin up relatively quickly. And we're all itching to get a few animals. So hopefully um, that happens pretty quickly. Alright, well thanks for watching. And... Stay subscribed if you're already subscribed, if not subscribe, um, there will be more videos, we will be off grid again very soon, and we will do videos along the way of the new cabin, although we've already been through all of that, um, we'll just show how the new cabin's going and things like that. Thanks for watching, see ya.